more at Summer Bites. This is the first booth in the Press Cuban and the Beef Empanada. There's some beverages below. And here's the food truck that is at this year's festival for the Cuban sandwich. dish here at the Summer Bites. It's kind of a makeshift festival it seems for Universal, but this is the... The Cuban. The press Cuban. And I think what's interesting about this one is the price point. It was $14.99 and it's a decent sized sandwich, but I was expecting for $14.99 to come with a side of chips or something. It did not. It did not. Let's give Have it a try. You, do you enjoy a good Cuban sandwich? Is that in your repertoire? Oh look at the cheese pull. Normally. I do. This is more for me. I like it. It's basically ham and pork and cheese and mustard and some pickles. Yeah, I don't dislike it. I think it has really good flavor. The bread has good crunch and, um, and it's got a nice amount of mustard and cheese on it. Yeah. Solid dish. <laughs> Maybe a little overpriced, but solid. I will try it here. You wanna just hold that thing for me real quick? I'll give it a bite. That was good. Tastes just like a Cuban chip. So if you like a Cuban? If you like a Cuban, get this as long as you don't mind the price point. Yeah. Yeah. Proceed. What were you saying? Alright, so we went to the second Summer Bites booth. I think you're sugarcoating it from the way you presented it to me is, just now. This is the Melt and Mac yeah. booth. Um, so I got the Smoky Brisket Melt. And the first thing I said to Doug was, I just want you to know this was only $11.99. Okay. So, my point being the Cuban sandwich that we just had at $14.99. And this looks like a, a the same size sandwich with a lot of meat on it as well. Okay. And then I also got a side of white cheddar mac and cheese. This was $5.99. I thought you were going to complain that it's still too expensive. It's still pretty expensive, but I feel like there's more here. Oh. Anyway. All right, well now we get to try it. Yeah. All right, what you trying first? I'm trying some white cheddar mac and cheese. I thought there was a mac and cheese with brisket on it. There was, but I figured if I was getting the brisket sandwich, I didn't need the brisket mac and cheese. You, as didn't, well. you didn't double brisket it? No. This is okay, but it's a pretty mild flavor. Nothing too special. No. Oh. Not your top mac and cheese from this trip? <laughs> no, not my top mac and cheese. Oh boy. All right, let's give the brisket sandwich a try. <laughs> just, like just, a, just a full head nod there. Mm -hmm. You like that better than the Cuban? It's got a good, yes. It's got a good butter, garlicky toast. The brisket is really good. It's got a little barbecue sauce on it. And then it's got some like cheddar and purple cheese, I think. Ah. It's well. Double cheese in. So, I like this a lot. Told you. Oh, I'm trying some uh, beef brasket. Beef. beef brasket? It's hot. And I'm uh... I got the cheddar out of it. Nearly got the cheddar. It's a good like pork barbecue. It. Um, a little more. How do I put this American than I thought it would be? Uh, the garlicky toast. It's, it's kind of a lot like what we got at Smur or Regal Eagle yesterday. Yeah, I can see that. I think this is heartier than what we got at Regal Eagle. Yeah, maybe. And I'll try the mac and cheese here. Or pop. Uh -huh. 
There's really not much punch to that. No, there's not very much cheese flavor. Yeah, I thought there would be a little bit more. It looks like it's, it looks good. It looks like it's gonna have a lot of flavor to it. And then it just uh, does not deliver, unfortunately. Yeah.